Hey, welcome back to another airport launch walkthrough. In this video, we will look at the One World Alliance Business Class Lounge in LAX. This airport has tons of noteworthy lounges. I have just made videos of American Airlines Flagship Lounge and the American Express Centurion Lounge. I'll put the links in the description. The One World Lounge is located just one level above the main atrium. You can get there by taking the escalator that is really hard to miss. And once you get up there, it's the first lounge you see. This lounge is set to be co-hosted by Qantas, British Airways, and Cathay Pacific. But in reality, Qantas is the one managing it. Well, it makes sense, since the One World First Class Lounge is also managed by Qantas. The lounge has a rectangular donut-shaped layout. So let's start from the left side where it's quieter, and we're gonna walk clockwise down the lounge. This lounge is a massive 42,000 square feet lounge. It can accommodate around 600 people at a time. Well, I'm not sure if that limit has ever been tested, but that's essentially the entire A380 worth of passengers. Now, the lounge was opened in 2014. It's not new by any means, but they did a decent job at maintaining the lounge. Now, I think you have noticed already that the lounge is pretty dark. Even with all the windows nearby, there's just no direct sunlight. Well, better get used to it. As we dive deeper, you'll get even darker. If you're curious what's below us, well, immediately, a level from us is the Qantas First Class Lounge. Further down would be the Amex Centurion Lounge. I was just at a Centurion Lounge myself. Yeah, it's not lit. All lounges in this terminal have the same issue. Unless the lounge has an outdoor terrace like the Star Alliance Lounge, you're not gonna have much natural light or the view of the airport's apron. The shower facility is located here. There are a total of 9 shower suites available. Some of them are accessible friendly. Judging by the look of the shower suites, some renovation must have been done over the years. They still look pretty good. Over here is the largest communal space, lots of people and sittings, and it's also right next to the buffet section as you will see in just a sec. I came at a time where the lounge was transitioning into dinner, so there wasn't too many food options available just yet, but I've read reviews that the food was actually quite decent, both in terms of quality and variety. Well, I'll have to return here again to see for myself. As of now, I've not much to say about the food, but the lounge could have done a better job at presenting more food throughout the day.
now let's talk about access policy. Any one world first and business class passengers could get in. But if you have first class, you probably want to go to the Qantas first class lounge instead. If you are flying economy, you need to have at least the one world mid-tier sapphire status. If your status is from Alaska or American airline, then you can't be flying domestic only, unless otherwise specified. But of course, if you're connecting from a long-haul international business or first, you have access to. For detailed access policy, check out the link in the description box. As we have almost made our way back to the entrance, you will find a bar at the corner. Past the bar and further into the corner is a fireplace with circular sitting. This is probably my favorite spot to chill. So here we did it, a complete walkthrough of this lounge. And what do I think of this lounge? I like the fact that it has so much space where seating wouldn't be any issue at any given time. Good shower facilities and allegedly decent food. Can't say for sure about that part though. But the one thing I hate the most is the lack of natural light. There's not much the lounge can do about this however, but overall, pretty decent. As a one world business class passenger, I could also go to the American Airlines flagship lounge but that's too far, so I'm good with this one. And with that said, thanks for dropping by today. Until next time, bye for now.